y'all just seen the introduction video on this truck. It's been a few weeks since then. I've put about 2,000 miles on it, ran into some issues on it. Now, we had a transmission issue early on, I think in the first week we had it. And when we tried to back out, we put it in reverse, it backed out just fine. Kind of sluggish, kind of hesitant, like you had to give it a little bit more RPM. But then we got it out in the road, and then when you put it in drive, it takes off in first, kind of rough. And then it acts like it doesn't know what gear it wants to go to. It jumps around gears for a few seconds, and then it goes straight to either second or third gear, kind of like a, a limp mode, like a, like a uh, default gear. If it goes into any sort of mode, it just goes back to that gear. That's kind of what it did. And it slammed. Yeah, it gear. slammed into it. Uh, did some searching around. Tried letting it sit for about 10 minutes while, it, while I was looking around and seeing what, what could be the problem. Seems to be the transmissions just have poor tunes in them. This is about all I can tell. Uh, so that got me thinking, oh, I'll just try driving it in just sport mode. So, it seemed to have done the trick. It's been about three weeks. The sport mode has seemed to fix the transmission issue. I've never had it once. If I'm driving in sport mode, I always get it in normal mode. We're gonna go see if we can recreate it. I'm gonna drive it in normal mode for the first time in three weeks probably, and we're gonna see what happens. I don't know how long it's been since I've driven this in normal mode. It's been a few weeks, two or three, but I haven't really kept that much track of it. Last time I backed out into the road, so we're gonna do it the exact same way. I did feel sluggish already. Hope it doesn't mess up. And then last time when I put it in drive, it just kind of went a little bit and then just kind of stopped going like I had no more gas pedal and then it jerked around really hard and then defaulted to a gear. Doesn't seem like it's gonna do it this time. Do I talk about any other problems I had too or? Sure. What was the other one? The audio. Oh, look, it just shut off. It doesn't do that in the not sport mode or in the sport mode. No, it doesn't shut off in sport mode. I don't like it, so. All right, we're going to go back to sport mode. Uh, one of the other issues I had was actually the radio. Uh, we got in it one day, and it said audio off, and it wouldn't do anything else. We couldn't get the radio to come, radio to come back on or anything. I think what I ended up doing was just shutting it off, letting it sit for about 10 minutes, and then the radio worked again. It seems to be related to remote start. We haven't figured that out quite yet, but every time she uses remote start, her radio doesn't work. What other issues did we have out of this? Just the transmission and the audio? But other than that, it's been a really fun vehicle. <laughs> but back to the transmission issue. I haven't, I've been driving with it just in sport mode. You see the dual gauges and it's all red ever since it started having the issues and I haven't had it reoccur one time I've also heard of other people who had that issue once and they never had it again but maybe if you're having transmission issues and they're early on try just driving it in sport mode it makes it a little bit more harsh uh, you would need a tune if you wanted to make it a little bit less jarring but if you get a tune you also avoid your warranty so that's up to you I think personally a tune is how to fix this transmission, so I'm going to be getting one, which I would have been getting one anyway, so we'll see what happens. Of course, we'll do new 0 to 60s every mod this thing gets. Uh, 
And if anything else comes up broken or malfunctioning, we'll be sure to let y'all know. If y'all were planning on driving this thing in sport mode, hope you're ready to spend a lot of money on fuel because this thing sucks it down in sport mode. And normal mode, it is a lot better fuel mileage. Like it, I'm probably getting about 15 right now in sport mode. And I've been driving it like that because I don't want transmission issues, but it's, it's been getting expensive. We have to fill this thing up like every three days, every four days, maybe. Yeah, right now my average is 17.2, so I was pretty close. I think it's over a pretty long time too, though. Oh, there you go, in the last 2,000 miles, 16.8 miles per gallon. It's not good. Some of those are highway. Yeah, some of it is. <laughs> Quite a bit of that it actually is. We went up to Portugal, or we went up there like probably four times. So probably 700, 800 miles of it is highway miles. 81 hours mm -hmm. of driving this. Damn. Yeah, We're just now at 15,000, just crossed over 15,000 miles, a little, almost 400 miles ago. So this, it's not even like this thing is old. It shouldn't be having transmission issues. Into that very quickly. Oh yeah, I think it was like the third day we had it. Yeah. Given what I know, I've had the issues that I've had, the audio, the transmission issues, I probably would still get this vehicle. Everything else about it, I, was, I love it. I love the room. It needs a little bit more power, but it's got a lot to start with. If you're going to a family vehicle, if, you're go if you need a family vehicle and you've always had sports cars, this is a good compromise. That's another thing I've noticed about sport mode. Uh, when you're coming to, to a stop, it will actually rev match up and use engine braking to slow you down a little bit. Because it's, I'm guessing, it's thinking you're wanting to do a more aggressive stop. And it can kind of jar you around sometimes, get really jerky. It'll, it'll do basically like this, but as you're coming to a stop, If you drive real light footed, you can play around it. You can make it not do it as much. Yeah, that's pretty much all the problems we've had. Can't think of anything else that's going wrong other than just the fuel mileage being horrible.